Park Chase Stadium in Washington, D.C., the National Football League is on the air. Today, the Miami Dolphins meet the Washington Redskins, the NFC champions. Hello, everybody. This is Hank Goldberg, along with the voice of the Dolphins, Rick Weaver, and our sideline analyst, Henry Barrow. The Dolphins open the 1984 season, and what a good one it should be this afternoon. This is probably the most successful team in the National Football League that the Dolphins will be facing this afternoon. In fact, since Joe Gibbs came in three years ago and went 0-5, They've done nothing but win football games and, in fact, have won 31 of their last 35 contests, although they haven't done that well in openers. Miami, on the other hand, has won three straight openers, looking to make that four this afternoon, and Don Shula comes in, the second winningest active coach in the National Football League, only one behind Tom Landry. Shula has 213 regular season wins, 226 overall to Landry's two, one, or 234. What the Dolphins are going to have to contend with is a team that is basically mistake-free. Last year on the turnover ratio, the number was plus 43 takeaways versus giveaways. They just don't cough up the football. Miami doesn't either. They were plus 17 in that category. But their inside linebackers, the young ones, Mark Brown and Jay Brophy, will be tested by none other than John Riggins, who is only coming off his best year, 1,347 yards rushing, 24 touchdowns, an NFL record. And now ready to tell you what the Dolphins will be doing in 1984, starting his 14th regular season with the Dolphins. The voice of the Dolphins and a capital fellow himself, Rick Weaver. Oh, thank you, Hank, and hi once again, everybody. Here are the starting offensive alignments. We'll change according to the flip of the coin. For the Skins, it'll be number seven, Joe Theismann, in his 11th year from Notre Dame, the quarterback. The wide receivers will be 87, Charlie Brown, a third-year man from South Carolina State. And number 81, Art Monk in his fifth year from Syracuse. For the Dolphins, offensively, Dan Marino. Number 13 in his second year from Pitt will be the QB. The running back, number 22, Tony Nathan, the six-year man from Alabama. Number 37, Andre Franklin in his fourth year from Nebraska. The wide receivers, Mark Cooper, number 85, in his third year from Northwest Louisiana State. And Mark Clayton, number 83, in his second year from Louisville. The tight end will be Dan Johnson, number 87, in his second year from Iowa State. And left tackle, 79. John G.K. in his fifth year from Michigan. The left guard is 61. Roy Foster, a third-year man from USC. The center, Dwight Stevenson, 57 in his fifth year from Alabama. Number 64. Ed Newman is the right guard, a 12-year veteran from Duke. And at right tackle, Eric Laxo, number 68, a seven-year man from Delane. Uber Van Schaman, the placement specialist for Miami. Bison will hold for a Mosley field goal kicker. These are the best of friends out there now, Mosley and Bison. And Mosley is one of the guys that Joe's talking to. This will be a 48-yard attempt. Here's the snap. Kick is up. Has the distance on it. It is no good. He misses it off to the right side. So the Dolphins will take over with five minutes and four seconds left to go in the first quarter. There is no score. Dolphins single back offense from their 31. Franklin the only back to give to Andre. Finds an opening in the middle and squirts through the 35-yard line. Second down and six for Miami. The ball at their 35. And Mosley has uh, just missed a field goal attempt off to the right. Didn't hit the ball well at all. Here's the handoff. Tape it outside of the right. He gets the corner turn. 40, 45. Up to the 50-yard line. Rambles Tony Nathan. Super blocked by Eddie Newman out in front. Mark Murphy saved an even bigger gain. Newman's block allowed him to turn the corner. Single back, Jensen uh, deploys as a wideout to the near side. Two receivers spread to the far side. Marino will throw it. He pops it across the middle. Jensen's got it down to the 35. Good tacklers with him down to the 30-yard line. <laughs> That's the advantage with him. When he catches the football, he runs like Larry Zonka, and he is not quite Zonka's size, only 212 pounds at 6'4", but what an athlete. First down at the skin's 30-yard line. Receiver spread far side, back to the nine. From the 30-yard line, here is the gift. Trapped into the middle. Franklin, six for yardage. Belts his way inside the 25. Down to the 22-yard line. Got second and three. Dolphins football at the 23. Here is the pitch to Nathan outside of the right. He's in trouble. And here is his yardage. Dan Johnson, the tight end, did not block anybody. So they mark it back at the 26. All right, in the shotgun now. Dolphins at the skin, 26. This is Miami's deepest penetration. 151 to go in a quarter. No score. Somebody jumps in the skin. Flags go down. Marino throwing deep corner of the end zone. And it's caught for a touchdown. Caught back there by Mark Cooper. And Marino strikes first as the Dolphins jump on the board, 6 to nothing. 
on Shaman can make it seven to nothing. A TD pass to 32 yards from Marino to Mark Duper. And if that's any indication of things to come this season, they're taking up right where they left off last year. Strock will hold. Von Chaman will try the point. Dolphins score with 144 to go in the first quarter. Here's the snap set down. Kick is up. He splits the uprights, and we have a 7-0 score. Miami jumps on top. 69-yard drive. Six plays. Tyler possession, 320. Marino to do for 32 yards. Ball at the 18-yard line of Miami. Washington's deepest penetration. Second down and three. Good ball control drive once again by the Redskins. Dolphins lead 7-0. We've just begun play in the second quarter. Seisman with Riggins, the only back. Receiver spread to the near side. Dolphins show blitz. Here's the give off to Riggins. Runs right by him. Gets to the 15. He has stood up again by the linebackers. There is nothing going on at the line of scrimmage with the Dolphins down three linemen. They are being destroyed. The ball is put at the 12-yard line. The tackle again made by Blackwood. The ball is at the one-yard line. First and goal for the Redskins. Dolphins, 7 to nothing lead, teetering a bit. Mosley has missed the field goal. Now we got three tight ends in the ball game. Split back. First and goal for the one. Seisman wants quiet. Down at the south end. In motion to the near side comes the tight end. Here is Riggins diving over the left side. Touchdown for Washington. Say what's so incredible about this is that they never had a third down conversion situation on an 80-yard drive. Riggins was just so dominating. He was getting 10, 12 yards at a clip on that entire drive. Well, what Seisman also is doing now is setting up the play fake for future use. Mosley with Seisman to hold. Here's the kick. He's got it up there, and it's good. So we have a tie ball game at 7 with 11 minutes and 12 seconds to go in the half. 80-yard drive, nine plays, time of possession, 5.30. Riggins over from one yard out. Uh, so, Feinstein, when he can't go deep, will nickel and dime you to death. Well, uh, I think time of possession is uh, becoming a factor. It's a warm day. The Dolphins have spent an awful lot of time on the field. 29 plays now, or 30 plays, have been run by Washington, and Miami's 13. Ball at the Dolphins, 23 first down. Short tight at 7, 4.38 to go in the half, but Feinstein has them moving. Side in in motion again. Here's Washington. Starts inside and gets only to the 20-yard line. Joe Washington on the University of Oklahoma. Penetrates to the 20. Brzezinski and Jay Brophy make the tackle on the play. We have called the down line uh, on tackles only a couple of times this afternoon. Baumhauer had one to open the ball game, and Betters has had one. And I think Bo Camper has one, but forget it. Because the Hogs have controlled the line of scrimmage. Wanting the ball at the 15. Third down and two. Bison ready to go to work. Washington again the only back. Sends a man in motion. He drops deep to throw. Goes in the corner of the end zone. It is knocked down. Bison will hold. 32-yard attempt. 0 for 1 is Mosley. Here's the kick. He hits it. He's got the distance. And it's good. So it's a 10-7 score. Donald Deal is getting awfully close each time on that. And he's playing it beautifully. And if he doesn't go, then they've got Bud Brown on the other side who will go. 10-7, the Redskins grab the lead for the first time on a 32-yard field goal by Mark Mosley. 3-13, left to go before the end of the half. 71 yards, 9 plays, time of possession, 5-44. 32-yard field goal, Mosley at 7. High, short kickoff, Heflin drifts over, grabs it at 7. Far side, 10, 15, he's in trouble. He will get the, not to the 20, and he's going to be stopped at about the 19-yard line. Dolphins need a good drive here and uh, get the a chance to put some points on the board before we go to the dressing room. Dolphins start from their 19-yard line. Marino gets a jump at the line of scrimmage. Flags go down. Looks up to you. He throws the ball. It's incomplete. Was going for Jensen, who had cut to the sideline. The ball was thrown in behind him, but the Dolphins are going to pick up five here anyway. Off, off, off side, 65 defense. And then the Dolphins uh, will now the first and five at their 23. We got uh, Nathan, the only back now. With the receiver spread to either side, and Jensen comes in motion near side. Here's a quick out. It is caught by Duper, and he's grabbed around one leg and gets only to the 26-yard line. Marino has not been able to go deep like he would want to since early in the ball game, although he's 8 for 9 for 87 yards. The ball up to 26 of Miami, second down and 3. Receiver spread to either side. Marino back to throw. He will fire it down to the far side. Caught by Duper at the 50. Down to the 40. He may go. 25. 20. Duper scores. No sooner than we had said he hasn't been able to go deep, than he makes a liar out of it. 74 yeah. yards. 
That's all right. He made a fool out of Washington. Better a liar than a fool because Washington on that last previous play had come up and was probably feeling pretty smug about stopping a hitch pattern. But then Duper just faked the hitch pattern that time and took off down the sideline and nobody can keep up with him. He's got world-class speed. 4-2-40, Super Duper gets on the board for his second TD. We know the Duper and the Skins now find themselves on the short end of the scoreboard, which is now 13 to 10. Von Chaman can make it 14, and it didn't take him long. They still have 2.06 left to play in the first half. Strock to hold. Uva, who is one for one on the season. Sixth year out of the University of Oklahoma. Awaits the snap from Pave. Strock does. Here it is. Sit down. Kick is up. And it's good. So Miami retakes the lead, 14 to 10, on the timing pattern and the stop and go. Move that Duper uh, put on Washington, faked him right out of his jock on the far sidelines and got in behind him. And it was uh, no contest. 81 yards, three plays. Marino to Duper, 74 yards. Took him 54 seconds to get it back. It's a strange ball game, Rick, for Miami. Atypical of Miami because they really haven't sustained any kind of drive. Everything's been on the on the quick striking combination of Marino to Duper, and that defense is going to have to come right back on the field again and uh, hold up for another two minutes. All right, out of the shotgun now. Second down and 16. 16 seconds on the clock. Back to throw is Marino. He will go for it all. Up the middle it is. Caught by Toulouse. He makes a super grab down inside. The 10 to the 5 yard line. Three people around the ball. Dolphins line up, up in a hurry. They're not, they're not going to get a playoff. And they run out. First half. They didn't have any timeouts left, but what a catch by Joe Rose. And the fact that they could not get the ball into the end zone before the first half expired may turn out to be a factor in this ball game. So at the end of the first half, Rose coming up with a spectacular catch and then uh, trying to run for the sideline, but he never made it, and the clock ran out before they could get up to the line of scrimmage. He was double covered, and put that ball right into his hand. It was also a good throw. Marino really credited it. All right, at halftime, the Dolphins lead the Redskins. The score here is Miami 14, the Redskins 10. Here is Hayes forward. He hits it high. It is not deep. It'll be grabbed by Heffler at the 11. Straight out, 15, 20, 25. He's at the 30 and out to about the 31 of the 32-yard line. Ball at the Dolphins' 32-yard line. Let's see if Marino can ring up seven more on the board. Duper spreads to the far side, Clayton of the near side. We've got Franklin and Nathan the eye back in behind Marino. Here is a give off to Tony, finds an opening, and squirts through, gets out to about the 34-yard line. I think it's important for Miami to get off well here in the second half because you want to build up a lead on the Redskins and eventually you take them out of their game, which is uh, ball control with Riggins running it, make them play catch-up, then you can really get them. Second down and eight, Marino will pop it across the middle, caught by Johnson, the tight end, he gets out to the 40-yard line. About a yard and a half shy of what they need for a first down. Try to give off to Franklin. Got a hole. 40, 45. He's got the first down out to the 46, 47 yard line. All right, first down Miami from their 47. There's Marino. Straight back drop to throw. He pops it. It is under throw. He took a pop himself back at the 35 yard line. Duper spreads far side. Moore comes to the near side. Second and 10 Dolphins from their 47. Now Bennett sets with Johnson as the blocker up front. Nathan the only back. Here's a give to Tony, sweep outside to the left, turns it upfield, and gets to only the 48-yard line. From the Dolphins, 48, third down and nine. They have to get the ball just outside the skin, 43, from the shotgun. Marino awaits the snap. Here is the snap. He drops the throw, has time going deep up the middle. He's got a man down there, and it's caught. Down to the 10, down to the five-yard line again goes Mike Duper. And the tackle made by Darrell Green. Duper got in behind the cornerback. And Green saves the touchdown. Jensen splits far side. Duper and uh, Clayton are wide to the near side. Nathan the only back. First and goal from the six. Marino drops the throw. Looks left. He's got a man open. Jensen touchdown. Jimmy Jensen gets his first TD in National Football League history. Got inside the strong safety, Tony Peters. So the Dolphins denied one at the end of the first half. Come right out for their first offensive series in the third quarter and drive the ball right down the Redskins' throat. Strzok will hold. Von Schaumann can make it an 11-point lead. 11-13 left to go in the third quarter. Marino is just slicing them up. Awaiting the snap from Jeff Taves is Don Strzok. Here it is. Set down. The kick is up. 
And it's good. So Miami jumps out to a 21 to 10 lead now, their biggest margin. There is a handoff to Washington in for Riggins, and he's going to get out to about the 40 yard line, a gain of about four on the play. Second down and six. If the give is to, uh, is to uh, Joey Washington, he hits the middle, a fumble on the play. Dolphins have the football. Fumble on the play, Washington tossed it up, and the Dolphins have it at the 43 yard line of the Redskins. Well, the defense is getting a rest now because the offense is keeping control of the football here in this third quarter. All right, Clayton near side, Duper far side. Franklin and Nathan in the back. Second down and six from the Skins nine. Marino ready to go to work. Awaits the snap from center. Here it is. Quick drop. Lost the corner of the end zone. Pass for a touchdown by Mark Clayton. Now you can see the hours of practice now beginning to show up. Those, those are all timing patterns. The kick is good. So it's now a 28-10 score, and the Redskins may be forced out of their game plan. With 5.52 left to go in the third quarter. A drive of the Dolphins, 43 yards, six plays. Lyle Blackwood set it up recovering Washington's fumble after Black Brown forced it. Uh, Marino to Clayton, nine yards for the TD. Time of possession, 3.44. Rick, if Washington does a score here, then John Riggins is out of the game in the fourth quarter because they're just going to have to throw. Second and ten for the Redskins from their 42. Joe Washington, who fumbled the last time, is now in at a running back spot. From the 42-yard line, Warren uh, Walker, the tight end, gets up, does all kinds of maneuvering. Here's Seisman, blitz on. He pops it, intercepted by Judson, 40, 35, 30. He's out of the 25, 20, 15, 10. He's down of the 8-yard line. William Judson, who had six last year, picked that one off. And the tackle made by Joe Washington. Judson plays the ball perfectly. So Judson, as the fan of Ubers come out, returns to 38 yards, and the Dolphins threatening to turn this one into a route now. Third down and goal from the 4-yard line. Receivers spread all over. Marino, he looks. He fires Jensen again for a touchdown in the middle. Jimmy Jensen out of Boston U gets his second TD. Mark Murphy hit him, but he just bounced off him like he wasn't there. Here, Slap will hold on Shaman the kick. He's got it up and splits the upright. So it's 35 to 10 in favor of Miami. And I'll tell you, the way uh, New England is handling Buffalo this afternoon, that sets up a real confrontation next week between the Dolphins and New England and this is the most unbelievable score of the day in the National Football League the Dolphins certainly came in here with the idea of winning but they are destroying and with some help from the Redskins offense during the second half destroying this Washington team we've got second down and goal from the five yard line all right Lankford is in Lyle uh, Blackwood is in Seisman ready to go to work from the five he sends his tight end in motion to the near side. Give off to Washington. Hurdles for the end zone and gets in. So the Redskins finally get on the board. And Joe Washington gets touched down. His first of the season. Snap set down. Kick is up. And it's good. So it's a 35 to 17 lead now. The Dolphins lead is down now, now down to 18 points with 7.16 left to go. A good play by the Dolphin defense. The incompletion stops the clock with 2.10 left to go. And it's turned into a dull, routine affair right now. The Dolphins have this game won, and the Skins just running out the string. Dolphins came in ready to go, and I'll tell you, the game plan, the preparation was just outstanding. Dysman now with a first down at the Dolphins' 31-yard line. Brings Brown in motion back to the near side. Dysman looking. He's looking. He fires it. It is going to be intercepted. Back there at about the 10-yard line by Blackwood. Cuts it to the far side, 15, 20, 25. Lose 130, gets out to the 35-yard line. So Feisman is picked off for the second time this afternoon. Jeff Bostic made the tackle, and Glenn Blackwood comes up for the interception, runs it back all the way out to about the 35, and that's the uh, end of the ball game. They might as well shut it off right now. Marino runs another play to stop the... Uh, to uh, just run out the clock. Washington cannot stop it. The Dolphins are back in a huddle of balls at the 30-yard line. Third down and 15. This will be the last play of the game. 30 seconds showing on the clock. And Marino again for the third time will just fall on top of the football. And the Dolphins have won the game. The Redskins are out of timeouts. And Miami will come home in first place in the AFC East. And uh, assuming New England they holds on to beat Buffalo this afternoon. Sets up a great battle. At the Orange Bowl next Sunday afternoon, we will have it for you on these Dolphin Network stations at 12.50. Down to five seconds. The ball game is over. It was over before the fourth quarter began. The 
Dolphins just took it to him. The defense won the game as Marino converted two costly Washington offensive errors. Final score here. The Finns beat the Skins 35 to 17. This is the Miami Dolphins football network. Uh, well, I want to talk with Don Shula really quick while I got him. Okay. Don, I want to hold on a second. Walk with you. Congratulations on another opening day win, Don. Well, uh, it was a good one because uh, of what our games against the Redskins recently have meant to us. The uh, Super Bowl loss left us uh, with a bad taste. And uh, the only way that you can correct that is to uh, go out and win the next one. And uh, we were able to do that, win the first game of this season against the Redskins. And I know that uh, they were ready to play. They were coming off that disappointing loss to the Raiders in the Super Bowl. So I had all the respect that uh, their football team would be ready to go. I'm sorry, yeah, go ahead. And our team just uh, went out, used our strengths, and uh, tried to beat them with our strengths. Time when you got in the middle of the third quarter and you were rolling up all those points, did you start thinking to yourself, oh, that Riggins isn't going to get me today? Because I know he's a, he really has been tough on you over the years. Well, that <laughs> drive that they had, uh, you just have to admire Riggins and everything he stands for. He hung in there, that offensive line was handling us, and they moved it down the field. Uh, thank God it was in, only in the second quarter uh, today where it was in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl a couple years ago when they did it to us. But uh, then he caught the ball coming out of the backfield. He's just uh, such a great competitor. What can you say? You just uh, admire a guy that's uh, done so many good things for so many years. Okay, Don. Thanks a lot. Congratulations again. Okay.